Hello and welcome everyone on YouTube. This is Variety Stick and this video it will be a full comparison video. I have the ZTE Blade Z Max and I have the LG Stylo 3 Plus. Very hard to pick from these phones since these phones very similar in the specifications and features. But with this video we will be able to distinguish the differences between two phones and then it makes it very easier for you to pick from. So without any further ado, let's find out. Let's kick off with the design of the phones. These phones, they're completely different made design, by the way. The ZTE, for instance, has the back seal, the battery inside the phone, so it's not removable. This is one of the disadvantages. But this phone has a lot of good advantages as well. So we have dual camera here, fingerprint, very responsive, very fast. We have the speaker. We have USB-C. It does support fast charging, microphone, audio jack. We have the pan is going to be only in one side. The power pan has textures. I mean, we have six inch phones. This is a big phone over here. And we have uh, capacitive keys, so we don't have the Android keys built in the phone, which is, in my opinion, makes the screen to be a little bit bigger to use. Uh, while the Stylo 3 uh, Plus over here, it's going to be also plastic. We have a stylus pin. Uh, you can just pop this one and it adds up more features to the phone. We have removable back and removable battery where you can replace that battery for the future, which is give also the Stylo 3 Plus more advantage. We have the Android keys over here, so we don't have dual camera. And this phone is slightly smaller. It's 7 point or 5.7 inches for the display. It makes it a little bit smaller here. Here's the thing. If you need a bigger phone and you need the USB-C, you don't care about battery to be removable. The way you go with the design, it will be the a ZTE. If you want removal battery, you want a stylus pin, and you want a just regular mini USB, the phone still does support fast charge. The way you go, it will be the Stylo A3 Plus. But in my opinion, I would give uh, advantage for the ZTE blade for two things, the USB-C and the phone has a premium lock than the Stylo 3 Plus, which is kind of a little bit of plastic looking both plastic but the style 3 plus doesn't look too premium for me now for the display in both phones we have uh, different sizes the zte blade max has six inches and we have 5.7 inches for the style 3 plus the difference only is going to be in the ppi and the size of the screen so we have high definition display which is full hd 1080p for the for both phones actually and the PPI for the ZTE Max it will be 367 and the Stylo 3 Plus has 386. Now here's my issue with the Stylo 3 Plus. The screen is not bright. For color vividness I would tell you that the colors it's more vivid on the Stylo and the pictures more contrast and more sharp. But the brightness is low while the ZTE Blade Max bigger screen with more brightness eventually when you look both phones hard to tell the difference but if you look in details you're gonna tell the Stylo 3 Plus has better quality display but the, with only one disadvantage it will be the brightness so for that reason I'm not giving no advantage one on each other because the blade has more brightness and it looks stunning and a bigger display but at the same time the quality the contrast the vividness it's good on the Stylo 3 plus so no difference here in the display also let's compare the speakers in both phones both phones by the way have the speaker located on the back of the phone and we have uh, music we're gonna just play and see which phone is gonna perform better than the other one and let me start with the Stylo 3 plus And then just move on on the blade. Yeah, no doubt the speaker quality in the Blade Max way much better than the Stylo 3 Plus. That's very surprising over here. The quality and it's more loud than the Stylo 3 Plus. So definitely the advantage here in the speaker, it will be for the ZTE. 
Now for the battery, as I said earlier, the ZTE Blade Max doesn't have removable battery, so it's hard for you to replace or exchange or get a spare battery, while the Stylo 3 Plus has removable back and battery where you can buy spare or replace that battery if something happens to it, which is a great advantage for the Stylo 3 Plus over the blade. But for the capacity of the batteries, the ZTE Blade Max has 4,080 milliamps power battery and the Stylo 3 Plus has only 3,080 milliamp power. You are talking about thousand milliamp power battery more for the blade z max which is this will be translated to a uh, more longer lifetime for the battery if you guys can see over here which is weird that the uh, style 3 plus consume more on the screen even that the screen on the zte blade max has more brightness to it which is kind of weird but if we just look on the screen to just the screen screen on time we have noticed that the Stylo 3 Plus consume more power, even with less power battery, we have 5000 milliamp capture power used, and the ZTA Blade Max only 3 and 43, which is gonna stay more longer as a screen on time. So the way you keep the phones on the screen, most of the times, the ZTA Blade Max more optimized and bigger battery, it will eventually last more longer than the Stylo 3 Plus. You decide, you want a better performance for the battery, or you want the phone has removable battery, it will be up to you. Hardware most of the time is going to be a brake dealer over here, because this is the most important things in phones, like memory, RAM, and the processor. So in these phones, very identical in the specifications, we have 1.4 Snapdragon 430, for the Stylo 3 Plus, 2GB of RAM, 32GB for internal storage, in my opinion, very decent over here and we have a snapdragon 435 which is the same uh, it gives the same performance very much octa core processor 2 gigabyte ram 32 gigabyte internal storage also we can just go ahead and have a look on geekbench to see the score 677 for single core 2602 this is for the zta blade max and we have 629 and 2576 multi-core this is for the Stylo 3 Plus, but I've done already a speed test comparison video, I'll leave this in the description box of the ghost, people they want to see the differences in performance, so go ahead and check this out. Now let's talk about softwares and features available in these two phones. The operating system, as you can see, we have Android Nougat in both phones, but 7.1.1 and 7.0.1 in the Stylo 3 Plus. In my opinion, it's not a big deal, but the uh, Blade has the uh, stack Android look, so we don't have too much of the customization. While LG, they basically use their own UI, which is the LG UI, as you guys can see, this is a custom Android, and this is very much stock Android. Stock Android, it's light skin, it makes the phone most of the times more snappy, more faster. Nothing wrong with the custom UI, I'm a big fan for a custom UI, so that's not a problem. But let's go ahead and see what sensors we have. So, both phones they very much provide the same sensor which is the gyroscope, the most important sensor, so both available in these two phones. I will tell you, LG has a stylus pin where you can actually uh, uh, take advantage from taking memo and uh, you can have a magnifier or some good features. I have already covered this in my full review, which is a good addition. LG has the tab on screen, which you can double click to unlock, double click to open, uh, has for the camera gesture shot and very good uh, stuff but the most important thing as you guys see that the uh style 3 plus does support nfc that means you can use google pay and the zta blade max doesn't have that extra features doesn't have stylus pin doesn't have nfc though so this phone doesn't support android pay so i will definitely here i will give advantage for the uh, style 3 plus for have more features on the software and in the hardware Finally, I want to be speaking about the uh, camera in both phones and the ZTE Blade Z Max is definitely has big advantage with a dual camera on the back and uh, we have 2 and 16 and front camera also 8 megapixel while the Style 3 Plus has 5 megapixel for the front and 13 megapixel on the back. To be honest with you guys, I haven't noticed too much of the uh, uh, progress on the uh, Stylo, even from the Stylo 
2 plus from the 3 plus so very much that we have the same kind of quality same very much same looking software so we don't have a lot of additional uh, features for the camera for the quality is decent but it's not the best compared to the ZTE Blade Max the ZTE Blade Max definitely has more clear camera and it takes better pictures and has a lot of modes and a lot of features and one of them it's going to be the dual mode so we got bokeh mode and portrait mode this is basically that's the second camera it will make the background separate and it's going to make it looks like very professional uh pictures so absolutely the camera here i will give it advantage for the blade z max over the stylo 3 plus it's more advanced it's more uh, features and more clear and it's overall better camera even the front facing camera with 8 megapixel give more advantage for the zta blade max so if you are looking for a phone that provides better quality pictures the blade it will be the way you go for more you guys can see my full review i've done samples and i review the camera more in detail so go ahead and check them out now which phone you would choose the style 3 plus or the zta blade max for the time being i'm doing this video the zte blade max believe it or not it's 50 dollars cheaper in the price than the style 3 plus give that blade max a lot of advantage in the price but let's go ahead and do a recap over here the zte blade max has usb c which is give more advantage it's a future thing and the phone has bigger battery so the performance of the battery is stay more longer bigger screen more bright and better hardware performance and absolutely bigger camera in the megapixel and better quality extra modes for the camera and we have better speaker well the Stylo 3 plus maybe removable battery which is good and the phone has double tap screen feature uh, which is good in my opinion style spin with whatever features comes with also is a good thing but which one you want to choose the Stylo 3 plus or the blade z max if i want to choose i would choose the blade max i would save money and get that nice feature in that phone that was very much it for that video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. As always, subscribe, give this video a like, hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video. And we will talk to you in the next one.